In this lesson, we're going to look at Adobe Illustrator. This will be an introduction to the program. If you have used any other Adobe program before, this the layout should look familiar. On the left-hand side, we have our toolbox. On the top, we have menus. Below that, you have the control panel. The options will change depending on what tool you have. And on the right side, you have more panels and options. In this lesson, I'm going to explain just a few of the basic tools in Illustrator and show you what they do. So the first tool we're going to look at is the selection tool. With this, we can move objects, we can resize objects, you can rotate also. You have to put the cursor to just above one of the corners. Click and drag. We can select multiple objects just by dragging a box. And long as it connects to just part of it, we can kind of group them together. And if we wanted to, now we could resize them. So that's the, the selection tool. The next one we have is the direct selection tool. How this works is in Illustrator you have anchor points or edges. I'm going to ungroup this and we can select an individual point and move it. Each curve will have what's called a handlebar and you can grab the handlebars and move those as well. If you wanted to select multiple points, you just hold down shift. And then you'll have multiple points selected and you can move them. That's this is a very important and useful tool in Illustrator. You'll be using it a lot. The keyboard shortcut is the letter A on the keyboard. The other tool that I want to show you is the magic wand, which allows you to select colors. So if I wanted to select all the red, I would just click on the red. Notice how also the circle gets selected. If I wanted to, I could change the color of this since it's all selected. You could resize it. Um, so there, there will be times where you'll want to use that tool because in Illustrator, uh, your, your drawings can get quite complex and sometimes you'll just want to change the color of uh, throughout the whole, whole project or whole design. And those are the basic um, first few tools that I'll talk about in this lesson. In the next lesson, what I'll talk about is the pen tool, and we'll talk about how that relates with uh, the direct selection tool a little bit more in depth.